My name is Aaron Rossman Kiss. I was born in Geneva, Switzerland. I do visual arts, mainly photography, video, also use lots of text. Um, my current work focuses a lot on European borders. And in addition to my artistic work, I also uh, study anthropology and history at the University of Neuchâtel. The whole project, in fact, was very inspired by this idea that I learned a few days after I arrived, that the water you, you drink in Lublin comes from lakes under the city. And so this really inspired me, and I think this is very symbolic, because there's this city that when you first come here, it looks very small, very provincial, uh, maybe a bit clo closed even. But in fact, there's so much history, so many things going on underneath what we see. So I think that uh, a few weeks is really not enough to, to see this. But we can really feel, if we are looking for it, that there's a history that's really rich, even if it's sometimes a history of absence. When I, I saw this call for applications, and I saw that the theme was borders, and usually I work around international borders between countries and I saw that Lublin was very far from a border in fact. I thought it would be interesting to explore inside the city itself what kind of borders um, people experience or create through their lives here. So because I think that even though you live far uh, from an international border, you experience the idea of border very strongly in your everyday life. Neighborhoods you don't go to because they're dangerous or boring, that um, creates a border, a mental border. The themes of uh, migration, immigration, immigration are uh, very present in this project, in fact, because in this archive we create, there are three lists that are included. The first list is um, this list of people who were in Maidan Tatarski ghetto and we can see the places where they were born in this list and there are more than 200 different places uh, where these people were born and I find it very interesting to see that they were united in Lublin. The other list is one from Ellis Island in New York where people had to uh, stop before going to uh, the continent and so I looked at the archives and I, find, I found for 30 years the list of all the people who came from Lublin. So this is also something that will be included. And then the third list, I'm not 100% sure about it because the project is not finished, but it will be a list of people from different origins who live today in Poland. So the idea is to really show how uh, migration is really an important part of the experience uh, of the history of Lublin. The, the general idea when coming here was to work with people's experiences and memories and create an archive uh, with this material. I myself, before I, I came here, I wanted to visit the state archives and I asked to have a kind of a guided tour there, but it's been in process since one month, so I still haven't gone there. And I think this symbolizes the fact that memory or official memory is often closed out, um, not accessible to uh, people. So the idea of my archive is the opposite. It's um, designed to be shown in full only for one day. And then the people who come visit it uh, can take parts of the archive and sign a contract where they say that they will be the keepers of this part of the archive and if anyone contacts them to uh, see this part um, they have to show it and so the archive will be dispersed um, throughout the town <laughs> and people will become the, the keepers of memory and so this is the idea to create a memory that is visible but also active and to have citizens participate in this.